やっぱり仙台はいいな仙台にはたくさんヒーローがいるって聞いてやってきたから腕が鳴るぜ Welcome back to Hiro Akimoto's Fight the Local Heroes the only channel you Wait Who are you? Well, 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 this one's about Sendai, right? If there's anyone who's going to introduce Sendai on YouTube, it's going to be me. Go on, mate, take a day off. You sure? All right, I'm off. Anyway, welcome to Hiroaki Moto's Fight the Local Heroes, the only channel on YouTube where you can watch former judo world champion Hiroaki Moto's quest to battle every local hero in Japan. This episode takes Hiro to Sendai, where he's heard there's a bunch of heroes ready to fight. <laughs> あのヒーローがいるって聞いてやってきたんですけどもご存知ないですかヒーローヒーローそんなんいなくねえなんとかライダーとか仮面かぶったやつとかこんな感じなんかマントつけてるやつとか知らないですかお見てない見てないなるほど手がかかりないですかじゃあもうちょっとこの辺で聞き込みしていきたいと思います、はい、ありがとうございます、はい Yeah, that seems like a fairly standard reaction to a man dressed in a bright yellow cape. Well, that's not suspicious at all. ここだなんだお前ら<笑>誰だお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお前らお Bloody hell, that was actually pretty good. I wish I did judo when I was a kid instead of fencing. Zankoga. Not bad. Hello. Oh my god. I, I, I. This is the first time I've seen this, and I'm not being paid enough to watch this. What's going on? Oh my god, Sendai the hero. Indeed. I've seen away all the heroes in Sendai in here. And if you want to bring them back, you will have to defeat me. Oh my god, what is this? I'm going to kill you! I think I would genuinely rather pour bleach in my eyes than look at Ryotaro dressed like this ever again. Hero, let's play some games. Just follow me! Come on! Seriously, it's like a shitty Japanese rip off of Mad Max. Alas, Hiro has arrived at G Nature in Sendai, an action park where you can enjoy camping, biking, and other outdoor activities, and also apparently where you can wear weird bondage gear and ride around on dirt bikes. Anyway, time for the first challenge of the day. Tell us what it is, Ryotaro. The name of the game is. Mothercraft! Why is this so elaborate for something so, so very stupid? Onto the rules. Hiro and Ryotaro have a motocross track in front of them. It's a simple race to the finish line. Fastest wins. Let's get this shit show on the road. And it's worth pointing out they do have real hey, size bikes hey. at this place. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. And they're off. Around the first corner with Akimoto in the lead, the weight advantage of Ryotaro's crop top not really helping them. Ryotaro's still lagging behind, watching him fail however, not really anything new there. Hold on a minute, what was that? Cheating, cheating of course. Not surprised, but not because he's meant to be the bad guy, but because he's Ryotaro. Ah! Go on, just, ah, just, 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 just
Continuing on, it's neck and neck here as we enter the final bed. And there it is again, the Ryotaro we all know and despise. But Akimoto makes it over the finish line. Can't even win when he cheats, not once but twice. Also, where did all these people come from? Why does it always end in violence with Yotaro? Psycho man. Moving on to round two. Tell us what it is, Risotero. Ha! Next name of the game. Lumberjack Contest. There's a Monty Python reference here, I can feel it. Each of our competitors has the same size cut of bamboo. We need to saw it into three slices, line it up on the chopping block and cut it cleanly in half. No using your hands to steady the bamboo and no killing your opponent with an axe along the way either. And they're off, two grown men. Screaming at bamboo, quality entertainment. This is so brilliant, I'm so glad I'm here commentating on this. Akimoto with the first cut, Ryotaro not far behind. It's about equal now. It's almost a tie. And here we are, time for the chopping. That was shit and I'm not surprised. Akimoto with the clean cuts though, that's vaguely impressive. Ryotaro doesn't make a clear cut. Is he going to give it a go again? No, he's just going to cheat. Of course he would. Well, Ryotaro once again proving what we already know, but unfortunately this time he's the victor. That's it, one win apiece. Not even Ryotaro's henchmen want to acknowledge his existence. <laughs> Next up, our two competitors head to the Atom Circuit. Sounds very cool. Just outside of Sendai for some go-karting. This one is a time trial, well, not a race. They have three laps each, and whoever gets the fastest lap out of all three tries wins. Here's hoping we see Ryotaro flip his cart and rip his face off. Give us the entertainment that we so sorely deserve. So here we are out on the circuit for a tense race. Akimoto revs his engine. Three, two, one, and that was a lot slower than I was <laughs> expecting. Like this is really not that exciting to watch. Just two middle-aged men slowly moving around the car. Editor, let's speed it up. Ah, now we're talking. Ryotaro seems to be speeding ahead of Akimoto, but if I know anything about go-karting it's that you get a shell if you're in last or something. Crack out the blue shell. That's one lap done for Ryotaro and Akimoto not far behind, but it seems like he's having trouble keeping up. Remember guys, whoever gets the fastest lap here will be the winner today. Unless Ryotaro's paid off the person who runs the time board, which to be honest, wouldn't surprise me given his track record today. <laughs> Shut up! Akimoto's second lap still not quite fast enough. He's gonna need to pick up the pace if he wants his third lap to be his fastest. Two laps apiece for the gents and Akimoto has decided the best way to win is by missing the finish post. Brilliant. Oh wait, is this, is this sportsmanship from Ryotaro here? He stopped his cart. Maybe he's going to let Akimoto get at least one lap quicker than him. No, no he wasn't. He was just being a prick to rub it in. Well that's the go-karting done. Let's have a look at the results. If you have any concept of time, this might not be so surprising for you either. Who's faster? Hero? Yes. I think I have won with a time lap of 40 seconds point 
five, eight, one. I don't understand why Ryotaro <gasps> thinks this is what a villain sounds like. Is he mental? So, Hero, I guess I will seal you into my crystal. But before that, I think we have something to do together. Am I right? Am I right? Don't worry, mate. I wouldn't want to respond to this either. I'm the Look at this, <laughs> Come with me. Well, Akimoto has sadly lost, and that means he gets Judo thrown in the location of Ryotaro's choosing. So, are you ready for this? Yeshkoi! <laughs> Song. So, you are going to be sealed in to this. Oh, maybe not. I had so much fun today, and I cannot let you die here. I think I will see you away some other time. See ya. Well, uh, that's that's convenient. I can see we didn't have the special effects budget for an animation of him being sealed inside the orb, unfortunately. Akimoto's last stop for the day before heading home is Clubhouse in Higashi Matsushima, where you can enjoy a fresh seafood barbecue, prepared right before your eyes. うまい。うん。何度も食べれちゃいそう。うん。うまい。Well guys, that's it for today's episode. If you want to visit any of the locations we saw in today's nightmare, check out the description box below. Also, if you want to see more from Hiro, check him out teaching Ryotaro Judo over on Ryotaro's Japan. Or if you like actual good YouTube channels, like my one abroad in Japan, you can find it all linked in the description box below. I've been Chris Broad, and I'll never look at Ryotaro the same way again. In fact, I'm never going to look at Ryotaro again. Full fucking stop.